This is Bear Country. Good morning, Cambridge High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cambridge High School. Today is Friday, March 20th. I'm Kitty Catport. Lights, camera, action, and here's what's up. Here, Kitty, Kitty, here, Kitty, come on. This is Bear Country. And how you hating when you sing in our song? Screaming, here, Kitty, Kitty, here, Kitty, Kitty. Congratulations to Andrew Matty for winning first place at the 2015 Georgia Educational Technology Fair in Macon, Georgia. This is his third year in a row for winning first place at both the county and state competition for his mobile app design. Wow, Ms. Helfrich. That coffee sure smells good from over here. Give me some. Manners, Rosalie. May I please have some? No, it's mine. Good morning, Rosalie. Is that Starbucks? Yes. Can I try some? Sure. Whoa, triple venti soy non-fat latte with caramel drizzle, chocolate sauce, and double foam? at 120 degrees. So obnoxious. Manners, Rosalie. You overslept. Rosalie. But had time to stop at the local coffee house for a spot of coffee. Enough. We have another one who will be latte to class. <laughs> Don't forget, seniors, please order your cap and gown as soon as possible. A late fee of $25 has been added to all orders, bringing the total to $90 for your cap, gown, diploma cover, and tassel. Please visit Belfour.com to place your order. Hello, Cambridge High School. My name is Chef Vladdy Bear, and I am here in the back loading dock of Cambridge, ready to go talk to chefs inside the kitchen. Let's go. No, this is not Russian prison, my favorite place. This is Cambridge lunchroom and cafeteria with tons of food. Oh, look, here we are at fruit station. They have many exotic things that I do not see in my own country of Russia. They have, oh wait, are those chickpeas? I love chickpeas. Let's go on to next area of kitchen. It's cartons of milk just arriving. They have strawberry, low fat, not that I need it, and chocolate milk, which comes from, as we all know, brown cows. Let's go. This is where they store my favorite food, calzones. Of course, not native to Russia, but good nonetheless. We end here with my favorite part of the cafeteria. Drinks, beverages. First, we have Gatorade, my favorite. Watch the yellow number five though, dangerous. And then we have water and milk. Good stuff for your bones and for survival. Goodbye Cambridge High School, we'll see you again next time. 
On Tuesday, March 31st, the first verification form should be turned in. The form includes elective requests and a waiver form for any changes that should be made to core classes. The waiver form can be available online. <laughs> Now move my guns. 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 Remember Cambridge High School, don't move my guns. You know what, Meryl, I know you feel like the end of the world, but it is not. You're gonna be just fine, but it does have to be the end of that outfit. I hope that I don't ever see it again, and I hope that you can make better choices next time. I do not expect to see you in my office again for a dress code violation. Hey there, Meryl. Why are you looking so sad? Well, I just got dress coded. Well, you know there's an easy way to not get dress coded? Come on, I'll sing a song about it. Just put on a shirt and put on some pants. Make sure they're long enough to leave it to chance. The time may be out, but the dress code still stands. Make sure your shorts go all the way past your hands. Nothing can go wrong when you follow dress code all year long. Oh, I get it. But since I'm a mermaid, have a tail. I don't think I have options at all. Well, of course you do, Meryl. Think large scale. We're always here to catch your fall. Put, put on some shorts and put, put on some pants. Make, make sure, sure they're long enough, don't leave it to chance. The sun may be out, but the dress code still stands. Make sure, sure your pants go all the way past your hands. Nothing can go wrong when you follow dress code all year long. Good morning, dudes and brunettes. Ha. What's up? My name's Charlie Nolly, but my friends call me Cha for short. It's almost time for spring break, and you know what that means. It's time to continue our quest for Kalua Kapahala, the gnarliest wave in the North Pacific. Ha, you feel me? Yeah. Hey there, dudettes and gents. This wave right here is the most radical of all time. It's called the Upa Upa Wanakahua Cha Cha. That translates to bra in my native language. My ancestors, the Gnarlies, have been riding this wave since the dawn of time. I'm talking whole Willie Mammoth and, and, you know. So it's basically like this wave is my father. Here we go! Whoa! Ah, whoa. Hey, I'm back, bros! Let me tell you a little story real quick. So I used to be a delivery boy for Pizza Planet, but then, check this, the manager told me that I was too gnarly. Isn't that a load of bogus? <laughs> so I said, whatever, man, you're a bunch of posers. Cuckoo, ka -choo, I'm going off to ride the big old blue. So this right behind me here, I call this the tube. Watch me surf it. <laughs> yeah, ha, 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 ha. Tube was totally tubular. Ha! But right here, the Mile Long Mile Nor, this is the most radical wave of all time, created by the great Turtle Spirit himself. If this doesn't give you a permanent press, I don't know what will. Ha! Ha! Shaka! Looks like it's ready to go! Ha! Alright, bros, here it is. I'm going in for the ride of a lifetime! Oh, 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 oh bruh. Whoa, oh, oh, a little rough on the scalp there. Ha! Oh. This just might be too much shocker for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bruh, I'm totally not out ready for spring break. Prom is right around the corners to get your boogie shoes on. We will now head over to Kes Fitzgerald and the beautiful, marvelous, wonderfully talented Torius Visito. 
Hi Tori, thanks for being here. So tell me about prom, what's the theme? The theme is actually casino, Las Vegas, Caesar Palace kind of thing. So when do tickets go on sale for prom and where can I get one? And tickets are 60 bucks next week, but then the week of prom, tickets are going to go up to $80, so get them while you can. And also, if you're bringing someone from not Cambridge, you can pick up a form at the front office and have them sign that. And when you go and buy your ticket, you just give that form in. Thanks, Tori, for being here and telling us a little bit about prom. Hello. My name is Kian Halim. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about my childhood. <clears throat> at the tender age of six, I lived at home with my family, where I was happy and stress-free with no worries at all. I loved animals so much. I was always outside, watching birds, chasing rabbits, and doing other stuff that children love to do. But among all the animals, my absolute favorite was the bear. I had a connection. I had a destiny. The bear, the most fierce, intense animal, is the one standing mascot of Cambridge and prevails among all. The bear not only lives in the woods, but among the students, through spirit. The sea of blue should be seen at every sporting event. The sea of blue is where the majestic orca whale should be swimming freely. Gian, I told you not to talk about whales. This is bear country. Now, who wants to be my prom date? Do you want to be my prom date? Say yes and be my prom date. Legit, be my prom date. I'm serious. Now over to Cosmo Chin Guts for All In with his sports update. Welcome back to All In, your source for Cambridge sports. I'm Cosmo Chin Guts. This week we start up with my favorite, Cambridge soccer. The boys, they are three and run in the region and they are top part in the standings. They beat River Ridge on Wednesday and have nine seniors with top scorer Brett Stevens. Eight goals, ladies and gentlemen. Eight goals. But anyways, I've been hearing the girls' soccer, they're a little feisty, you know what I mean, like pow pow. Anyways, they are also 3-1 in one in the region, top part in standings, and they only have one senior. Like one, bro. One. But anyways, lots of young talent, uh, you know, Charlotte Teeter, Carly Shea, Natalie Taylor, you know, Nikki Lebeck, or like boom boom. Anyways, uh, the boys and girls will play Creekview on Friday. Boys at 7.45 and girls at 5.45. So make sure you come out because there will be a lot of GOALS! Hi, bears on three, bears on three! One, two, three, bears! The Cambridge track team had a quad meet on Wednesday. Uh, so on Saturday, they will have Roswell relays at Roswell High School. So make sure you come out. Everybody will be running very fast. I might come out, I don't know. I, I think I have tea with my mother, but yes. Cambridge Baseball really stole this victory over North Atlanta on Wednesday with a 17 to zero. Like we don't, we play a lot of baseball back where I come from, but like these guys, they are crazy, they're on fire, they are stealing wins, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, they trend to catch a region play against North Atlanta at 5.45 and Kel next week, so make sure you come out and watch some baseball. Listen! I don't know if you hear this, but the tennis team is really good. I know a lot of people don't watch tennis, but seriously, they're like really good. Like they've been re winning like every single match. They swept Riverwood 5-0 on Tuesday. It was pretty crazy. Uh, I couldn't make it out. My mom wanted me home for dinner, but uh, you know, the girls, they also swept Riverwood on Tuesday. Uh, also with uh, Sprayberry on Wednesday. Uh, they're ranked very, very high. So come out, watch some tennis. I promise you won't forget it. So, uh, you know those lax bros, right? Yeah? I had a chance to talk to uh, the coach and uh, their senior captain. Hey, Cosmo here. I'm um, with Coach DeAndre. Uh, uh, now, Coach, tell me, uh, what's your season looking like? All right. Well, thanks, Cosmo. Things are going great. We're 6-1 and one right now. I uh, won a couple of big games. We keep getting better. Really looking forward to the rest of the season. 
I'm here with senior captain Jake Letty on the lacrosse team. Uh, you know, Jake, you're on a five-win streak. Uh, you have Milton on Monday. Tell me, tell me some expectations in the coming days. I just think they're going to be a good team, but I think we got the upper hand on them, and it'll be fun. Okay, I, we better beat Milton. That's all I'm saying, you know? Yeah, I got you. You know, the boys are pretty hot, you know, they have a five-win streak, uh, they beat, uh, you know, the military academy, 19 to 0, it's pretty crazy, they have Milton on Monday, so if you don't go, I will be so upset because this is a rivalry, so everybody go, Cosmo will be there, uh, listen, the girls lacrosse team, they are pretty hot too, like, you know what I mean, they are pretty hot, but they beat Dance Creek on Tuesday, 13 to 10. Uh, it was pretty good, good matchup, but they have BT tonight at five o'clock. So go to BT, watch the Bears, watch them win. They are number four in the state. They have big expectations this season. Uh, the golf team, they are doing pretty good this season. Uh, they will host the Georgia South Carolina Cup on Friday and Saturday with a two o'clock tea time. Uh, so that will be at the Alpharetta Athletic Club East. That's this way. Like, East is this way. The girls golf team, they beat Milton on Tuesday. That's pretty good. Like, Milton, you take that. Like, Cambridge is making a name for themselves, so better watch out. Anyways, West Hall Invitational on Saturday, it would probably be pretty good because the girls, they're on fire just as much as the boys are. That's it for this week here at All In, where we're all in, all the time. I'm Cosmo Chinguts. See you later. <laughs>